it's Becky from Lessons by the Light. Today I want to talk to you about teaching evaluating as a reading strategy. You kids are constantly evaluating everything. We hear it all day long. This is too hard. That's funny. That shirt is awesome. Retest was too short. My pencil isn't sharp enough. A lot of times these evaluations sound like complaining, but it's really our students constantly deciding throughout the day their opinion on things and their judgment of different things. And Students love to do this naturally, and they love to give their opinion, so we just need to figure out how to help make meaningful evaluations while reading a text. So this is one of my favorite reading strategies to teach because students truly do love sharing their opinions, and their opinions and their judgments invest them in the text, and they want to be part of the character's journey, and I love inspiring this in students. I like starting with concrete, relatable activities to help students truly understand and internalize what it means to make an evaluation. So it's always great to start with photographs. These are some of my evaluation photograph test cards. I'll put the link in the description. So I specifically picked out pictures that they would have opinions on, like food, this haunted looking house, a shark. So all, they're going to use their opinions and their judgments to make an evaluation. This also helps to eliminate the barrier of having to decode text and understand the text because all students can understand and read pictures. So the way I teach reading is I have shared reading for the first 10 to 15 minutes of my reading block and then we go into centered. So part of that shared reading time I'm doing a read aloud and I'm modeling think alouds of our focus reading strategy and I'm showing students how to pause while you're reading to, to apply those reading strategies and really use them to become a better reader. So at the very beginning of that shared reading time, I do a little concrete activity. So for example, for evaluating, something I like to do is I bring in a menu or pull it up on the smart board from a local restaurant and I show them a few things from it and I ask them to evaluate if they would want to eat here. Students have very strong opinions about food and if they would like to order from a restaurant or not. I also like to take a stance and say that I'm going to order a certain dish for everyone for lunch and then they have to evaluate my choice. So this is the sentence frame that we use for evaluating. I agree or disagree with whatever it is because that because is really important. They need to give a reason. They can't just say, I don't want that. Another concrete experience I love to use with evaluating is getting an article from Times for Kids about if students should have homework or not. It's something they feel very passionate about and we can use, we can read the article and use statements that they have in there and students can decide if they agree or disagree. You can have your own debate in your class. This is, is one of those quick one to two minute activities like the menu activity just to get them excited and interested in thinking about evaluating in a different way before we dive into the text. So when we do go into the text, I teach evaluating with a character, Evan the Evaluator. So this is my concrete way of teaching reading strategies. It's called the Comprehension Crew. So each character has a profession, a prop. His is a crab mallet. Husband and I are big fans of crabs, so we have plenty of these around. So when students are making their evaluation during our shared reading, they're hitting this on the carpet before they say their evaluation. They all want to make evaluations during shared reading just because they get to hold this. They get so excited about it. So while I'm reading the mentor text, I'm pausing and I'm using our sentence frame to model those think alouds of evaluation. And then it's their turn and they get to model those think alouds too. So we're doing concrete experiences that are relating to outside of school while we're reading, we're having a concrete foundational understanding through this character and we're really creating that meaningful experience for the students of interacting with evaluating that's going to create a lasting connection so that they're able to evaluate as they're reading on their own. So in the Evan Evaluator pack, there's tons of graphic organizers that use the mallets, there's different ways for them to track their opinions for different parts of the text. For There's different prompts to talk about the character viewpoint, the character action. It takes you through all the different things that you could evaluate. So this is a great strategy that I enjoy using to really help 
make a meaningful experience for my students or in shared reading. And then we apply it and we're still using the Evan the Evaluator ideas and activities during our reading centers. So I hope that this helps you get started with teaching evaluating in your classroom. I'll put a link below if you want to learn more about Evan the Evaluator and the other comprehension crew. I'll also put some links about my shared reading and how I do think alouds. But let me know if you have any questions and I hope you can use the menu and the Time for Kids article ideas in your classroom to get some evaluating going. They're gonna love it. Thanks for stopping by.